What's up guys, welcome back to Ride the Bean and welcome to season three. This is going to be an interesting season. I'm excited, yes. We're going to be riding uh, around Norway. Uh, I'm going to be going mostly alone, but you're coming with me for parts of it. For like a few weeks. Yeah. Yes. And then we're going down to Denmark and uh, maybe even further south. It's going to be an interesting season and it's going to be a lot of nice views. But today is May 1st and May 1st in Norway is the official start of the motorcycle season. So as you can see behind me here, there is a whole group of people. Maybe I should be listening to what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be a few hours, like six, seven hour ride today. Yes. And and at the end of the day today, we're going to find camp somewhere. And then tomorrow, my plan is to uh, start my trip going further south. And uh, leave you behind for a couple of weeks until you meet me for in like the south of Norway. Three weeks, yeah. yes. Because I'm coming for the best parts. I don't know if you can say that, but at least the most spectacular <laughs> parts. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see. But now let's uh, let's just get ready. Everyone is getting on their bikes. The weather is perfect. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. It's super warm. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm not really comfortable riding in big groups like this. But let's just take it easy and hang back, hang back a little bit. This is always an awkward feeling for me, riding in groups. I have no idea where to place myself <laughs> or anything. And all the, the truckers watching us right away. Here we are, the official start of the season. <laughs> Perfect way to start. A lot of motorcycle groups out riding today. How's it going? Yeah? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> There's another group of riders. Yeah? It is the official start, so every motorcycle club and every, uh, every group of friends who ride and everything, they uh, meet up for a ride today. <laughs> now we're starting to get out of, the, out of the city and out on the countryside. As you can see, the Norwegian flag is flying everywhere. Because it's an official flag day today. I guess this is a strange concept for uh, for some of you, maybe you're, you're Americans. Uh, in Norway, you're not really allowed to fly the flag every day. You're only allowed to fly it on official flag days, or on birthdays, or funerals, or like certain certain dates and certain uh, events. And today, May 1st, is an official flag day. And today, all stores and everything is also closed. So. Nobody's working, everyone has the day off. So what better way to spend the time than going for a ride? That's the thing, in Norway the motorcycle season is quite short. So when you finally can get your bike out after a long winter, it's an amazing feeling. <laughs> it's, it's so nice, it's Norwegian countryside. Yeah, it's beautiful, huh? See the snow on the mountain tops and the uh, and the green valleys, or they're be starting to become green at least. Uh, there's a lot of people here. 
I was not expecting this many people. I thought it would be like 20. Yeah. Yeah, it's so like a bunch of motorcycle clubs and... Uh, Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> you lost your Mr. a bit long. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's way more people into biking and turn the leg than I ever thought. <laughs> and that's just turn the leg. Yeah, well, this is just this region. I think Norwegians uh, <laughs> are really into it. Of course, motorcycling is. Uh, it's, it's a great hobby. Yeah, and, so and the Norwegian roads are amazing to yeah. ride on. So there's a, there's a reason why so many bikers want to come to Norway. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting this today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be 20, 30 maybe. Yeah. What are cool bikes here? Trans South Africa Twin. GS, GSAs. That's a really cool bike. <laughs> Look at that one. Let's follow the Holy Rider guy. <laughs> All right. coming. There's so many bikes. Oh, people are taking pictures, <laughs> filming us. Oh well. This guy <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. <laughs> the whole gang here. All these people were uh, lining up to take pictures. <laughs> That's weird. Just hundreds of people. I feel like I'm, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm in a, a parade or some sort. Well, That's cool. People are coming out all over, like in all, all the little villages and everything. All the kids are coming out. This is really cool. Celebrating the opening of the motorcycle season. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of like Tour de France. <laughs> Cool place. Now we are in a place called Rennebu. This is the communal building. Rennebu. There's another motorcycle group. Okay, in this car group? I don't know. Ah, screw it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> that was. Why well, some people stopped and some people continued. I have no idea. Okay. That confused me a little bit. 
Now we're coming to Uppdal. This is uh, one of the most beautiful areas in this region. Surrounded by mountains. This is Uppdal center. City center, town center. Uppdal is uh, a place where a lot of people have cabins and a lot of people come to ski in winter and do uh, like extreme sport in summer. Other kinds like uh, downhill biking and everything. All right, that was that. That's cool, it's so beautiful. Yeah. What do you think of that ride? Yeah, that's been fun and very beautiful. Yeah? It's great to start this season. This is a, a, a little bit of a preview of what yeah. this season is going to be like, I guess. Oh, without all the other thousand bikers. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. the views at least. Yes. I think now we're at the halfway point and everyone is going to turn back uh, towards Trondheim now and they're going to stop and eat at a restaurant, Chinese restaurant, halfway. Yeah, but it's so many people. Yeah, it's, a, it's, bit a, it's a bit uh, more anonymous, can you say that? <laughs> then it's not like a small group yeah. where you can talk. It exactly. Just, it was like, yeah. I think uh, we're going to just go our separate way, way now and mm. start thinking of uh, of a place to camp. Yes. So looking for somewhere yeah. we can camp. But we need to get some food. Yes. We haven't eaten breakfast yet today. Have you said where we are now? Uptar. Because I have no clue. Why, why do we stop here? This is Uptar. This is... Uh, or why we stop here, I, I don't really know. But it's... Uh, but it's... This is like the halfway point. And this is the, the like a famous place. Yeah, I've heard that For skiing name. and the, for mm. all kinds of nature activities. And yeah. Yeah. So it's like a beautiful mountainous place. Then. Beautiful, beautiful mountains. I guess now let's get some food. Yes. No? Let's go to Burger King. Starting again, oh. the greasy family habits. <laughs> yeah. No, well, today is. No, but it's a bank holiday. Yeah, it's a bank holiday, so everything is closed. Because there's no stores open, there's no nothing. So it's either gas station food or Burger King. So that's why. So. <laughs> Well, <sighs> yeah, we're ashamed, but there's nothing else open. Yeah. So on this trip, we have to try to save and be healthy and cook. So yeah. make sure he does it when I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not pizza every day. <laughs> I can't afford that in Norway. Yeah. Right here, it's easier to to cook and uh, yeah and be healthy. Yeah, because when you want a pizza, it's like 20 euros, maybe. Yeah. Every day. But I can't, can't afford that. But <laughs> today, everything is closed. So. Yeah. Now we are going to just take our own way, go our own way, and start looking for camp. It is a little bit early yet, but uh, yeah. Have a, a chill evening in camp instead of uh, riding around. Today is actually really warm, it's 16 degrees. This is unusual, but I'm not complaining. Most of this snow have disappeared in just the last couple of days. May, I think, is my favorite month in Norway because usually the weather is pretty nice and you still have the mountain tops covered in snow but the valleys especially towards uh, the end of may the valleys start turning green you go through the fjords you have the blue water and the blue skies and those contrasts just make it really really beautiful these mountains the, this region or this this mountain chain is called trollheimen which translates to the home of the trolls troll home so according to the legends, there lives a lot of trolls in these mountains. I've never seen any of them.
Ah, oh, this is cool. It's like an amp card meet. Nice. A lot of old school classic cars. Now we're coming into Sundarsøra. It's a small town in between the mountains and the, at the bottom of a fjord. But now it looks like it is starting to rain. Seems like there's also Amcar ride day today. That's a cool car. It's not often you see Lamborghinis in Norway. <laughs> they cost like twice as much as they do in America. The same car. Here's the boat. Will we make it or is it leaving? I think there are more bikers here waiting for... Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of people. A lot of bikers. Okay, well, then we get on board. <laughs> oh, the good timing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, a lot of these people are the same uh, same people we were we rode with. <laughs> oh. Well. Yep. Ja. 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 Ja, då men då kom det till Det är Ja, det är Ja. 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 Jeg er jo utrolig flink med å spille fiolin og bandolin og... Ja, band... Ja, det er greit og bra. Samme som dans. Ja? Ja? De kjenner jeg kanskje. Ja. Det er litt av en musikalsk familie der. Ja, det er sikkert. Er vi arriving allerede? Ja. Ja. Ok. Huh. Ah, it's always nice to meet uh, someone uh, who's been watching my channel. It's uh, always fun. That looks extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> it's okay, like from one side of the city to the next, to the other, but uh, go on a road trip like that, woo, that's gotta be uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Let's see, is it possible to camp here? Looks like there's supposed to be a place here on Google. So, let's uh, find out. Ah, this is an actual camp spot. Yeah. Uh, let's go campground, but it's closed. Oh, if we, we can hang in a tree here and if it starts raining we just hide underneath the uh, here it's closed so yeah yeah put it under yep nice 
This was uh, an interesting day, no? Yeah, that was very interesting <laughs> and very beautiful first day. I think this is going to be... Oh, Sorry. stepping on me. <laughs> this is going to be our home for tonight. Yeah. Uh, we're going to hang in this hammock and uh, we're going to sit. Unfortunately, we don't have any beers because it's um, <laughs> in Norway. Uh, Norway is stupid. No alcohol on bank holidays. You're not allowed to buy alcohol. Because people would Sundays. buy too much of it? No, I Does don't know. I think it was just like this asshole no. in government who just one day decided that no, Norwegians are too drunk. We can't let them uh, buy alcohol on Sundays and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and holidays. Yeah. No, no logical reason for it. But, but we have a nice this what it is. Uh Yeah, next to this river. So hopefully tonight we're going to be uh, lulled asleep by the sound of the water. Yeah. Damn it. It started raining. <laughs> I thought at first it was just a little drizzle, but it, if I look over there, it doesn't look very good. It's not going to stop. It's really dark. But the cool thing is that we found a kitchen that has running water and uh, cooking like cutting boards and even a stove that works and a big pot so we're probably going to sleep here <laughs> because it's not stopping so we don't have to use our own oh. stuff oh a little bird huh. and maybe we'll sleep in here dry yeah, yeah. Uh, if we can fit around this uh, <laughs> lawnmower yeah no it's nice so let's cook yeah let's cook dinner what's for dinner That's today what I, uh, I was gonna ask you <laughs> it's norwegian taco yes <laughs> <laughs> perfect now <laughs> so minced meats and vegetables that's nice you want to cut the vegetables while i yes. cook the meat so we've got some carrots and paprika <laughs> What do you call this in French? Poivre. So th does that translate to pepper or paprika? Pepper. Cause... No, l little pepper. Yeah, because in English this is called a, a red pepper, right? But in Norwegian we call this paprika. Yeah, everybody, paprika. you say paprika, that's why you say it now. Yeah, because in Norwegian this is a paprika. But in English paprika is a spice, yeah. is it not? Yeah, I thought that was weird at the start when you were talking about paprika all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now I start saying it too. <laughs> ah. Well, this little kitchen made everything a lot simpler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cheating. It's kind of kind of cheating, but there's even power. <laughs> <laughs> we were planning on on cooking on a stove, but if you have a proper proper kitchen, then yeah, then, <laughs> then why not use it? That's brilliant. And then of course, taco spice. I don't know why taco is so popular in Norway. It became really popular. The Tex-Mex taco became really, really popular in the 90s. And for some reason, it's now a staple of the Norwegian diet. On Friday, <laughs> at work, at the work canteen, then you get taco yeah. every Friday. Ah, it's starting to smell good. This is... Uh, not the worst dinner no. I can imagine. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> a, there were no plates here, so uh, I guess the two extra casseroles are our, yeah. are our plates. Dinner is served. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I have a spoon. Oh. Yeah, it's perfect. And we have some... Uh, Chips as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way life should be. Yeah. Just simple. Camp anywhere you want. <laughs> yes. It no should stress. be simple. <laughs> yeah, like this. That's true. I've realized that over the past couple of years that I feel better when I have almost nothing. As yeah. long as I have my bike and well, actually, in the cameras, the cameras help me motivate myself and, and push me. 
So my bike and my camera and enough money for gas and food. That's all you need. That's all I need. Yeah. And ideally maybe a, a, a night in a hostel or something yeah. now and then, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The less you have, the more free and happy you feel. Absolutely. At least me too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was a, a fun day. Yeah, that started <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I had no idea what would happen today. I thought we were just going to ride a group of like 10, 20 people maybe. Yeah, and then have <laughs> a drink together and meet some people. But there this it was this massive thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. That's why I didn't really get to talk to a lot of people. And uh, yeah, it was, but it was fun. Yeah. And it was interesting to see all the people standing along the road. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like toward the front. Like <laughs> <laughs> That was strange, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the first episode of season one. And unfortunately, tomorrow, no, season three. So <laughs> 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 and unfortunately, tomorrow, I have to dri drive Marion home because you have your PhD and your work and everything um, yeah. to do right now. And yeah, then, it's my choice to. And then I'm going to uh, head south for uh, a little while until you meet me in the south and we start heading back up the west side of Norway together. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, I look forward to that. But in the meantime, I'm going to visit some coffee shops in Oslo and then ride some uh, nice roads on the way down there over the mountains. And well, we'll see which roads are open and uh, closed. And I, I don't really know what it looks like. It's still very early spring. So, mm, yeah. But if you want to follow that, then um, hit the like button, click subscribe and ring the bell. And uh, I'll hopefully see you in the next episode. Peace. Peace.